I'm having a problem with this boat. And the problem really boils down to my kids keep getting bigger and I think this boat needs to get bigger. Because I can fit all my kids in this boat, but like one kid is sitting on the side here, two kids are sitting in reasonable, reasonable spots, then one kid is sitting up on the front there. Like they don't really fit that easily. And this boat is amazing, I love this boat. Like right now, I'm driving by myself, and I'm just gonna go pick up some food and some fiberglass and some, you know, just some, some stuff like that. Perfect size for that kind of thing. However, it's getting to the point where the only boat I can use to take my kids places is my big cargo boat. And I would like to be able to take my small, faster boat, right? So, what I'm thinking of doing is copying this middle hull here, the one I'm sitting in, get, getting rid of the two side pontoons here, and just having two of these, like one here and one there. Or maybe one here and one there. I don't know, it doesn't matter what size. But there are a few, a few things I need to figure out. I mean, obviously I have to go buy a bunch of polyester resin. I already have enough fiberglass to do it. Yeah, I should have plenty for that. Just left it over from other things. But in terms of the design, so right now, this boat does not fill with water when it rains because I have the solar roof up here and, the, and it tilts, you know, I can, whenever it's parked, I have it just slanted a little bit and not much rain gets in here, which is great. But if I have two of these and then the solar panels presumably go in the middle and maybe I'll make it so they can shift from one side to the other, you know, kind of tilt from one side to the other so I can aim them at the sun. But that also means I can cover one of these areas with the solar panels so it's not getting rain on it. Oh, and I have a shirt on my arm so this arm doesn't get sunburned. I'm driving pretty far today, so I have some time to think about this. Anyway, I need to figure out how these don't fill with water whenever it's parked. Uh, hmm, so maybe, maybe I make it so the solar panels are in the middle and can lean over to one side or the other, you know, to aim at the sun while I'm driving. But also, when it's parked, I can cover one. And then I just make covers for the one that's not being covered with the solar panels. That would totally work. That's actually probably what I'm gonna do. Another idea is to, I'm just gonna call this a pontoon. All the people, who, all, the, all the serious boat people who want me to not call it a pontoon, I'm sorry, but I'm just gonna call it a pontoon. I could make the other pontoon covered, so it, you know you don't sit inside it. It's just you know covered. Maybe has a couple hatches so you can put storage in there. The problem with that is it takes away some of the seating. Uh, so some of the seating would have to be the space between, which is fine. But I think I, I think I want to keep the seating because the way it is right now, like one adult and two kids can easily fit in this boat. And by two kids, I mean like two grown kids, like basically three adults can fit in this. Lungs are not too big. Uh, and that way, we can have me, another adult, four kids, all in the boat, no problem, with cargo space on the floor between the two pontoons. So that's what I'm thinking I'm gonna do. And then to connect them, I don't know, I'll have some some piece attached to this part back here that goes to the other one, and then a piece connected up there where it's solid to the other one, and then maybe one more piece kind of where this cross piece is. And I don't know if I want to match all this nonsense back here that's just there because the motor is inside here. Uh, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll make it easier on myself and uh, just make this back kind of like that front up there. Just, just really simple, you know? Anyway, I'm driving to town right now, so I got a couple hours to think about it. I really love this boat, though. Whatever, whatever I do, I have to make sure this boat stays as super cool and awesome as it is right now. And I'm driving at low speed 
because that way I basically use no battery and I can get to my destination with full battery. And then I'll drive home at, at low speed for like half the way. And then at the point where I'm, you know, maybe maybe halfway, maybe a little further, I'll be like, all right, I don't have to worry about anything. If I've got clear skies, then I'll crank it up to full speed and drive the rest of the way home. But I like to, I like to keep my battery full just in case a storm blows in, which sometimes happens. And then I'll, you know, use the battery to run full speed to get out of the storm. All right, so that's what I'm thinking about today. What to do with this super cool boat to make it so I can fit more stuff in it. Because whenever I go to town with all my kids, I take my big cargo boat, which is significantly slower. It's, it's slower than my slow speed on this boat. So it would be nice if I could put my kids in this boat and drive to town. We can get there a lot faster. Maybe, if I put another one of these pontoons, maybe I'll put another battery in. Maybe put a couple more solar panels in. And then I could run at higher speed on the way, which would be kind of cool. Right now I've got this uh, 100 amp hour, 24 volt SOK battery in the front. And it's doing a great job. And you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to mix battery, um, different brands of those kind of batteries because it might be a little different so I'd probably have to get an, uh, a matching one anyway I'm just gonna shut up and think about this you know I could also get rid of that rattle in the back of the boat I'm sure it's coming through on the camera there's a rattle back there that just happens at certain speeds and I'm going right at the right speed to you know get the resonant frequency to get that rattle Anyway, let's just drive. I just realized I don't actually remember how much resin I used on this middle pontoon thing. I think it was somewhere around 10 gallons. I think it might have been less. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was more. I think it was somewhere around 10 gallons, though. You know what? I need, I need two more gallons to finish a kayak that I'm working on. So maybe I'll just get 12 gallons. Then I can build this and hopefully have at least two gallons left to finish that kayak. And then I'll need a couple gallons of resin to make the, the cross pieces and all that stuff. I don't know what I'm doing about the floors yet, but anyway, I can just build. I know I want to build another matching one of these middle parts anyway, so I'll just do that first. I do have this other option, which is I could just put a bigger motor on the cargo boat and then it could go faster. Because it does have like plenty of batteries and solar panels. Like, I almost never use the batteries because it has plenty of solar panels and plenty of batteries. I could I could put a motor three times as big on that boat and it would go way faster. That would definitely be the simpler option out of either completely redoing this boat or just getting a motor for the other boat. Of course I do also have a mid-sized boat which is about the size of two of these middle main pontoons which all the kids fit on very easily. So I could dry dock this boat to start using that boat. However, I'm kind of thinking I want to sell one. And I think I'm going to sell that green boat, the mid-sized boat. And then use the money for that to either make this boat a little bigger or get a bigger motor for the huge boat. You know, I'm finding that three boats is too much. Having two boats that I use, like one really big boat and one smaller boat, depending on what I'm doing, is is definitely useful. But a third boat, you know, I, I always I always end up 
pulling one boat up out of the water and leaving it, just driving two for a while. And then, you know, I'll switch after a while. But I always have one boat that I'm not using, so I might as well sell one, right? So I'm thinking of selling the, the green boat specifically because that's the, the middle sized boat because someone expressed interest in buying it, like one of my neighbors. And I mean, I, I could sell any one. However, the green boat is the easiest one to sell because it has a transom that you could attach a normal motor to. If I sold this boat, I'd have to sell it as is with all the electronics and stuff. And that would make it super expensive. I didn't pay full price for like the solar panels and the battery and stuff because you know I have a YouTube channel and I get some some free stuff or some discounted stuff if I show it, blah blah blah. But yeah, if I was gonna sell it, I'd have to sell it for a lot. And then my cargo boat, nah, I can't sell my cargo boat. That thing's way too useful. I mean if someone offered me like a million dollars, I'd be like, alright, because with a million dollars I can make a crazy awesome boat. Uh, but even then I wouldn't I wouldn't buy something with that because uh, you know I've looked at boats to buy a lot and they're designed to need maintenance and I designed my boat specifically to not need maintenance like I pull this thing up out of the water leave it for a few weeks throw it back in the water turn on the switch and it just goes like there's there's nothing that really needs maintenance I work on it sometimes but whenever I work on it it's always like let me see if I can make this boat better. It's never like just maintenance stuff. So I can't buy boats because they, they're they made to need maintenance, which is really disappointing in, about our society. It's a ridiculous thing. Anyway, I also just want to take a moment to appreciate how, how cool this is. <laughs> like today's problems are that my kids are getting big, which is awesome. And I have too many boats, which is also an awesome problem to have. And I get to think about this while driving in this beautiful place, in this boat that I love. Wow, this is a, this is a good situation, man. Man, when your problems are like that, oh, I must be doing something right. I'm sure, I'll, I'm sure I'll have worse problems to deal with tomorrow or another day, but right now, I got some I got some pretty cool problems to deal with. And a nice place to think about it. I'm always a little nervous going through here, but I never hit. After driving this boat for almost two hours, I don't want to change anything. It's such a good boat, man. This thing is great. Did you just turn off? No, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> one, one thing I could do is cut this middle pontoon right in half and splice in an extra meter of boat, just make it longer. Then I could fit like an extra two people in here. Boat's already kind of long though. <laughs> I think it's 24-ish feet, 23, 24. It's like seven or eight meters. So if I add an extra meter in there, I could do it. I don't know, maybe I'm not gonna do anything yet. Today I'll just get resin to make kayaks and not do anything with this boat. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'll just do more research into uh, either finding a bigger motor for my cargo boat or making one. I don't know. This boat is so awesome though. Like, I don't want to change anything on it. It's so good for what it is. The other thing is, you know, if I'm going to make a whole other pontoon and then all the stuff to fit between them, and then I have to do a new roof and everything. Like the only thing I'm using from this boat is this one pontoon. I may as well just make a whole other boat at that point, you know? 
and then custom make the pontoon exactly as I want. <laughs> but I don't want another boat. All right. All right, I'm almost where I'm going. I'm gonna let this, this, this whole situation stew around in my brains. See what I come up with. I don't know, maybe, I, maybe first I'll, I'll sell that, the middle sized boat I have right now. And then, then think about it. Almost back home now, going full speed. And this boat is so good. I, I don't know if I should modify it. Oh, it's so good. Look at that. 